sad. Um, a little over a year, a little over a year ago, um, I had Marlon. Marlon's my UPS guy. He's my friend. He's awesome. He's always in the vlog. Uh, a little over a year ago, I had him on the vlog, and he told us about a, a struggle that he was dealing with. What's up, Marlon? Uh, nothing much, Casey. Uh, I mean, the reason why I'm here, my sister in St. Vincent is not well. And she needed dialysis, and that's expensive. He had been paying for it. He was going broke because of it. We started a GoFundMe. And holy sh**, did you guys come to the rescue? We raised like a couple hundred thousand dollars, which helped his sister and we... The, the Saturday after you, the, your blog, man, I, I couldn't do anything that all, all that weekend. In words cannot explain my thanks. Um, Marlon told me, so last week Marlon's sister passed away. Uh, I debated whether or not to put this in the vlog, but I think that because I came to you in his time of need and this whole community stepped up to help him, I kind of felt this obligation to share with you um, what happened. I hope, hope that makes sense, but uh, yeah, it's tough. My sister was always um, tall, the tallest, basically. And I would never forget this. I was in primary school and um, one day we in the village pitching marbles and things like that. I was always a small kid. Never this big guy. Always a small kid. And I remember this guy, um, Kanai. <laughs> nice stocky guy. He's not tall, but stocky. Okay. And I remember him um, approaching me and things like that. And he roughed me up a little, you know? Yeah, he's and a bully. You, right. And my sister was a, my sister was a wrong and that kind of thing. And I, I remembered my sister um, grabbed him. I, I would never forget this. Grabbed him and shook him for a little bit, you know? And, um, and so he came to his senses a bit. I would never forget, never forget that. I hope, I hope Ron can see this. <laughs> so when you were a kid, your sister was your bodyguard. Yeah, my bodyguard. My bodyguard for a um, time. And, and she grew up to be she, a very quiet personality. Um, It's the only time I really had to sit down and... To think about and it. And really think about it. Really. Stuff. It really is. But you've been good, man. It's, you, you guys have been good. Yes. Yes. Really, really. I... I just want to say thanks. I really don't know how to... Um, to express my gratitude um, towards... You guys, really. Um, I don't have enough words to really express. I don't have anything um, to really, that is tangible enough to really express my gratitude. But from my, my family, um, I want to really thank you guys for your prayers and for your financial support and for your encouraging words. It's this community, you know, the people on, YouTube, everything that, that it keeps me optimistic about where this world's headed. I would never forget this, man. I haven't seen, I've never seen anything like this. Nothing like this has ever happened to me and, um, and, and my family, really. And it really, I never spoke about how difficult it was for, really, for me to really come forward with this. Um, but I really, I'm really happy that I did. Um, at least my sister was able to live a comfortable life, even though she was struggling, um, um, able to get her medication, able to get her treatments and things like that. And um, um, my sister died with her dignity, really. Um, 
because of you guys. And I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I love doing this, you know. No, <laughs> seriously. One of these days, Barney, you gotta be hey, coming you, hey, you, know, you know what? I have a blog, blog you know. Do you want to plug your blog? No, I just want to tell them I have a blog. You got a blog. <laughs> <laughs>